What do you think the hot issue nowadays is? The smartphone would be the best answer. People start to use smartphone not only to work, but also for social networking or using internet banking system. Many of the research have shown us that how much smartphone has changed our lives in better way compared to a few years ago. The more phones become smarter, the more our lives get comfortable. The important thing is that there is the software in the beginning. The smartphone software is much more complicated compared to the feature phones. It is composed of 10 million lines, which is too complicated to deal with. It is hard to develop or control them with just a few people. Moreover, the business needs to have more people to develop software, giving them just short limited times. When you look at the following sample of Company X, they just needed to have hundreds of people during development a couple of years ago. However, it has demanded more and more human resources at this moment. The development cycle time is to be short as well. Developers have to shorten development cycle time by reflecting customers' requirement. Let's look at differences between the software and the hardware. What do you think is the most important key in the software development? The quality of human resources is the key of the software development. Even though it could be expected putting more human resources will let the business can get great outcomes during the process of hardware development, that way is not that much effective for the software develop process. Here is the example of why the outstanding individual is important. In this case, you can recognize how important the talented individual's capability is. The developer's talent of creativity and capability makes different output. Developers used to develop software with lots of codes adopted only advanced hardware. On the other hand, some of developers who have a talent can easily reach at that great quality by using just a few codes. We could also recognize that well-made software doesn't need to care about the specification hardware have. Good software could be adapted well to lower specification and poor battery so that they help to cut the cost of production too. The software is intangible and easy to reproduce. What is possible in accordance with these characteristics? With such unique software characteristics, people are getting interested in using open source software because of its cost-free benefit. Therefore, Linux is still strong position as key OSS in software market and trend to use more open source software is affected by these unique software's characteristics. What do you think in the software engineering? It is about the way how to apply engineering to the software. It is composed of four elements, method, tool, human resources, and process. These four elements enable to produce high-quality software and make possible to develop within schedule. Software engineering provides technical methods to develop software. These methods are composed of project planning and estimation, system and software analysis, data structures, program structures, algorithm, coding, testing, and maintenance activities. We sometimes also adopt other specific evaluation methods, such as language-specific methods, 
graph notation, and software quality. Tool is used for the purpose of production or consistency, which is an automated or semi-automated method. In software development life cycle, numerous tools such as requirement management tool, modeling tool, and configuration management tool exist. When these tools integrate to make one tool to use the information from other tools, they are set as a system to support software development. This system means to be a combination of software engineering DBs for the purpose of providing software engineering environment. Process is related to a procedure regarding in what order do we carry out work. The procedure combines method and tool to develop software at a reasonable and timely manner. In other words, it defines the sequences of applied methods, required results, quality assurance, and control to help adjust changes, milestones for software managers that are able to check the progress. Human resources is the last in four elements of the software engineering. The foundation of engineering lies in the fact that anyone, not just limited to a professional, can accomplish the job with same or better results. As development, improvement, and maintenance in software engineering are dependent on people and organization, software engineering has relatively more people dependency than any other engineering. Since there are a variety of issues in the case of software engineering, therefore, please be aware of the fact that it is practically impossible to organize software development in engineering way. Software lifecycle is the whole process from comprehension of the user environment and problems to development and maintenance and operation. Lifecycle is composed of following processes. What do you think is the main purpose of using lifecycle? To select lifecycle is important activity for development process tailoring during project in company. The selection of lifecycle models is implemented with an understanding of the risk and uncertainty in system development. The selected model among various lifecycle models can minimize risk or uncertainty in the project. There are V model, V with prototype model, evolutionary model, and incremental model for some typical examples of lifecycle. The selection of software lifecycle is critical to the success of the software project. Thus, considering the potential risk in the project, such as requirements, technology, schedule, complexity, and reuse, it is recommended to select the most optimal life cycle to address them. See below for references. Software development activities is defined in accordance with the software life cycle. It generally consists of requirements analysis, design, implementation, and testing activities. Please click those buttons to check out each characteristics of the process. First of all, it is the first actual step during the software development. Also, it is the step of understanding customer's requirement. It is the step of reducing development cost in the whole development process as well. After the step of requirement analysis, it is needed to design inner structure and data structure of the software. Design process is the first step of physical implementation. System design decides system structure that is composed of subsystems and goes through the allocation step of subsystem into hardware or software. The objective of software implementation is to execute programming that satisfies the requirements based on design specifications. Programs should be coded according to detailed design and user guidance.
One of the most important works during the implementation stage is to choose the coding standard and to create code based on this standard. What do you think the software testing is? This stage is the last step for software quality assurance and to find defects in order to ensure the quality. Also, it includes software quality assessment and modifications for their quality improvement. Software management is an activity that supports software development, which addresses problems under production and improvement requests. Ensuring traceability and integrity between artifacts created during development and project visibility. Also, support software development activities in systematic way. There are four types of the software management activities. First of all, Let's look at the activity of the software maintenance management. Unlike other systems, software requires many changes during or after development stage. This is because the user's requirements consistently change and also because the engineer who develops software needs technical changes. Thus, software should be made to be easily embraced such changes. In other words, Software maintenance management is a process of adapting and getting ready for the changes when the customer uses this software. Since software is invisible and misconception, requirement changes happen frequently compared to hardware design changes. Software requirement management is a systematic activities that extracts requirements from project stakeholders in order to establish, document, and agree for changes. Look at the purpose of these requirement management. The next activity is the software configuration management. In the process of developing or maintaining software, the change control procedure is very important to manage artifacts from software development phases and to get high quality software. This is done through software configuration management. In other words, software configuration management is an activity that builds system configuration which plan, develop, and manage documents or source codes during software development or maintenance activities. It is also an activity that regularly manages and controls series of changes to them. Lastly, software quality management is an activity that verifies whether software development activity matches the project plan and meet the organization policy. Now, what does software quality mean in software quality management? What are some quality characteristics the software have? It is difficult to classify the attributes of software quality in universal and consistent way because of there is a variety of software with different purposes. Therefore, amongst such quality attributes, it is important to choose and apply the suitable one that corresponds to one's need and accordingly act on proper verification activity. <laughs>